Hey YouTube, how the heck we doing? My stream team, Team PMA, recently did a charity stream for the Trevor Project. It was absolute chaos. Check out the highlights and more from Team PMA at our YouTube list in the description. And of course, if you're supporting Team PMA, you're supporting me. Appreciate you. Hey YouTube, how the heck we doing? This time, we're not playing a game. We are doing, as you can see on the screen, a Teemo counter tier list. I'm going to be doing both top and mid. What counters Teemo? Is it unplayable, extremely hard, 50-50 matchup, winnable, or free low? Okay, those are the sections. And yeah, let's jump right into it. Like I said, this is my opinion and my take on what counters Teemo top and mid. So if you're a Teemo main, be careful of these matchups. If you're not a Teemo main, well, you know what to pick. All right, let's get into it. So we're just going to be going down the list. Like I said, top and mid only. Not going to do support or jungle. Save that for another day. So let's start it off. Aatrox as the first champion. He is going to be an extremely hard. Because Aatrox is extremely hard to play against. He's not unplayable. It is possible to kill him if you have the happy feet. But his combo is extremely easy to hit. He does a ridiculous amount of damage early game. And he's tanky. And he's annoying. Okay, so extremely hard to start it off. Ari. I'm going to say 50-50. For mid lane, you're not going to see her top often. But if you do, it's not even that bad. She is a mage, which mages usually counter Teemo. But Ari is a 50-50 matchup. Realistically, if you dodge her charm, you can kill her. Like, she doesn't have dashes until level 6. And all that damage is in the charm Q combo. So, dodge her charm, and it could go either way. So, yeah, not bad. Oh, Akali. Oh. Free. Just kidding. Again, extremely hard. Akali isn't unplayable. Unplayable, we'll get to it. But Akali, a lot of people find her annoying. A lot of people hate her. But she's really not that good, if you think about it. She's not often picked. She's in a weird spot. She's not fun to lane against. But with, with everything you said, I think it's just extremely hard. I think the key to Akali is just play around her shroud. If she's in her shroud, you can't kill her. It is what it is. Yeah, extremely hard. Action all season 11. Season 11, oh, how do you do? I'm going to say it's extremely hard or 50-50. It's a tough call. I would say extremely hard. And now, this one might be the first one we disagree with. He's extremely hard because he's season 11. Let me go into it a little more. The problem with action is that he wins level 1. He auto boomerangs you. But the thing with action, which is really annoying, his little jump on the wall... You actually, nine times out of ten, you can't blind that. Although it's blindable, his projectiles come out so much quicker than Teemo Q. So it feels unblindable. And I think with everything being said, he's just a season 11 champion. He builds wit's end first item or shield bow. I think just everything about him screams season season 11, not season 10, sorry. And he is extremely hard. Yeah. Okay, Anivia, unplayable. If you play versus Anivia mid, if you play versus Anivia top, she is 100% unplayable. Uh, she doesn't do that much damage early game, but you can't ever do anything. If you walk at her, she hits you in the head with a stun. If you walk to the left, she walls you. If you walk to the right, she walls you. When she has ult, you can't even look in her direction. I think everything in Anivia's essence counters Teemo. There's actually nothing you can do. She has a slow, she has CC, and she has damage. It's really fun. Annie. Annie Banani actually does see some play top lane and mid lane. Uh... I'm actually going to put her out on playable as well. You, you're going to see a common trend here. Mages and Assassins, uh, they're going to be up and up, right? Um, Annie is also unplayable. I mean, her auto range got buffed. Her auto range is more than yours. And her Q range is more than yours. And she has a stun and she's a mage. Again, another unplayable. I think a big thing is that when you have unplayable or extremely hard matchups, defensive items make it a lot easier. But it is unplayable. Something like Aesol, I'm not gonna even put in here because I'm not I'm not gonna be putting champions that are never picked. Azir. Azir is picked fairly enough. Another unplayable one. We're seeing a common trend. Okay, we'll slap Azir on here. I mean we'll we'll slap uh Aurelian Soul on here. I would say winnable. Okay, so Aurelian Soul, he's winnable because he doesn't really do anything. He just roams. If he doesn't roam, you kill him. I mean, he doesn't really do much damage. His stun is, eh. I mean, he kind of just stinks. Azir is unplayable, though. We're seeing a trend with the mages. Wow, who would have thought? Azir is unplayable because, again, his Q is longer range than your auto. He does more damage, or he pokes pretty well early game. And he has a dash. He has an escape. 
His poke is just so lethal. Wow. Who would have thought? Unplayable. Why do I play Teemo mid lane? <laughs> what the heck? Look at this. <laughs> These are very common mid lane. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Camille. Okay, I like Camille. Camille's 50-50. So people might disagree with this, but Camille's 50-50 because um she, she has a lot of counterplay. If you dodge her E, you know, she can't really one-shot you. If you blind her after her E, her damage is less. If you don't catch her W, beautiful. Like, that's super winnable. It's super 50-50. We take those. A lot of people think she's OP, though, but I think OP is not the right word. Choga. Or Cassiopeia, another unplayable one. Who would have thought? Her, the puddle slows you. More damage, more range. More damage, more range in CC. Okay. Ooh, Cho'Goth. I would say this one actually is free. I think Cho'Goth's a noob poner, but I think it is free. Because as long as you don't catch his Q, you have half teeth with decent wave management, and he just dies. He's just a tank. If you catch his Q, you lose, but that's a lot of matchups. But I think he is pretty free. Darius, another freebie, especially right now. Because these champions just kind of stink. Darius, another freebie. Just don't get hit by the E. Stuff like that. If you get hit by Cho'Goth Q or Darius E, you shouldn't be playing Teemo. Like, that's just how it be. Corky. Uh, another free one. That's free. These are all free. Uh, Corky. Yeah, Corky. I mean, he, he he's an ADC, so this is funny. He's an ADC, but he doesn't have range. He has Q poke, whoop de doo but his range is peanuts. It's as low as Teemo, believe it or not. Dying is a jungler. We're not doing a jungle tier list, Keck. Oh, Mundo, another freebie. Mundo just kind of stinks. He's a tank. He's a tank. He does a little bit of damage, but not enough to kill you. And he's a tank. That sucks. He does isn't really picked right now. Echo, he's a jungler. Keck W. Fiora, okay. Fiora, extremely hard. Not 50-50, not unplayable, but extremely hard. Because Fiora is very strong right now. That's pretty much all it comes down to. The thing with Fiora is that she's strong right now. She could 1v1. She could team fight. She can do everything just because she's strong with the items. But it's extremely hard and not unplayable because if you do dodge her W, it turns into a very easy matchup. But dodging in W is pretty miserable. Fizz. Um, another unplayable one. No, we'll do extremely hard. No, it's unplayable. Ah, this one's tough. Extremely hard. The reason why it's not unplayable because a good Fizz will always E your Q and then kill you, right? If you go to Q him, he e he's on top of you. But it's not unplayable because you have to be really good at Fizz to do that. Sometimes you could sneak in auto or Qs before then. Level 6 is unplayable, but that's fine. Galio, 50-50. Galio is kind of, the, kind of a stinker in lane. I mean, if he hits you in the head with his taunt and his, his body slam, body slam, taunt, hit you in the head, do all the damage, then it's unplayable. But again, you have to be able to dodge stuff as Teemo. So. Ooh, Gangplank. Not really hard anymore. Since Gangplank got grasp nerfed, or since he, yeah, since since gra since grass was changed because of gangplank, his lane isn't suppressive anymore, so it's winnable. Just dodge his barrels, easy. Garen free. <laughs> Imagine playing Garen without striper. <laughs> you just kite him, bro. Nar, another freebie. Nar just kind of a stinker. Hey, just don't stand in creeps and get, take every, you know, don't stand in creeps and catch every boomerang. And when he goes mega, just walk away for three seconds, maybe four, pretty low. Gragas, 50-50. If you catch his barrels and you get hit by the body slam, you lose. If you don't, he's kind of just a shitty champ. You'll see a lot of trends here. Only champions in Extremely Hard or Unplayable usually are good champions as well, right? If Like, Corky can't be unplayable because Corky's just kind of a stinker, right? That does weigh into it. And here's a great example, Gwen. Like, Gwen used to be great. Now she's just okay. I would say it's winnable. Uh, let's do favor favorably oh, what's a good word definitely winnable because that implies that like it's not that hard because like this is like favored timo favored timo favored better timo favored there <clears throat> okay yeah gwen just kind of stinks she's a melee champion not a lot of damage you could blind her blind's actually really efficient efficient good Heimer Digger unplayable, God unplayable. We're seeing the mages. Mages shit on Teemo. Okay, Heimer's unplayable. You can't do anything. He puts its cannon down and shoves away. What can you do? Allow we free. Just auto her. Dodge a tentacle. Don't stand in her ult. Not too hard. Irelia. Everybody's going to hate me for this. Everybody thinks Irelia should be unplayable. But she's not that good. It's a 50-50 matchup. 
You can outplay Irelia. You can't outplay a Heimer. That's why he's unplayable. But Irelia, you can outplay her. You can outplay Irelia. Let me say it again. You can outplay her. Level 1, if you shove versus Irelia, it just gets a lot easier. And if you dodge her stun, you're you're good. When she gets old, sure, you can't run at her and 1v1 her. And if she rushes wit's end, you're, you're, it's tough. But it is playable until then. It's very winnable. Uh, jungler support, Jungler Jax. Another, I would say, Teemo favored. Or 50-50. Uh, I would say Teemo favored. Because Jax isn't in that good of a spot. And realistically, as long as you have the wave anywhere near your turret, he can't run you down. He's not that threatening. Jace. Okay, Jace is going to be one of those extremely hard. Because he, if he goes face rush, it's unplayable. But usually they won't. But Jace, like, he could jump on you and knock you away. You can't do anything. And that's why he's extremely hard. The average trade is his is all him. Karma doesn't really pick top or mid anymore. Cassidin. I mean, that's just Timo favored. No, it's free. It's free as hell. What am I saying? Cassidin mid. He doesn't do anything for the first 20 minutes game. You auto Q, auto him, he dies. Easy. And again, keep in mind all my opinions. Um, I'm looking at like the general game. I'm looking at my opinions. It's my it's my opinion and also what works for y'all. Like, if you you can do any scenario, oh, if I'm versus a rank one Cassidy in the world, he might be able to kill me, right? Like, if you use that mindset, I don't think it's really applicable for tier lists. I think on average, on average, I just shit on a Cassidy. On average, this is accurate. And for y'all, this is accurate. I'm not thinking about like, oh, rank one Jax poops on me, you know? Just a little throwing it out there. Uh, Katarina. Actually, Katarina is a very easy lane for Teemo. You just have to play confident. She doesn't have a lot of damage early game. No CC as well. Kale, free low. <laughs> Imagine playing a scaling champion in this meta. Heck, Kale's pretty free. Auto Q, auto, work her down. Very, very easy. Ooh, Kenny. Kenny's a extremely hard. Because he does everything that Teemo does, but better. Like, actually. Ken and his Teemo just better. <laughs> he, has a, he has CC. He has good damage. He has a dash. has an escape. Just, ape. yeah, he's Teemo, but better. So he's hard. And, of course, Teemo's not really good versus mages. Cleddy boy. Uh, Timo favored for sure. Cl Cled stinks right now. Blind's very efficient. Go cut down versus Cled. It's really good. Okay, LeBlanc. Impossible to play. Again, unplayable. We're seeing all the mages. Not even one bruiser is unplayable yet. All mages. And the thing is, it is possible that people pick like these champions to go top lane. Because like people will say, oh, what counter Timo cast? Go top. And even if they first time cast Pia or LeBlanc, they still win. LeBlanc just jumps on you, poops on you. You can't do anything. She jumps on you, does all her damage, reach you, and jumps away. Great. Sweet. I don't have a dash. Uh, Lissandra. Free. She sucks. Just don't get ganked forehead, like, unironically. Nasus. Okay. Nasus. A, a lot of people are worrying about Nasus. Where is he going to go? I would say Nasus is definitely Teemo favored. I don't think it's a free lane, and a good Nasus can kill you but the thing about nasus is that his level one to five is fairly weak like he's not going to solo bolo you level one to five and that's where the game really like takes shape level six also like level six it's like he can kill you but you have to be like at his turret and he has to run you down he can't just one tap you he's gotta it's gotta be across the whole lane so but he has chances to kill you it's not like he's just gonna roll over and die uh, Oriana. Okay, Oriana is, uh, extremely hard. Not unplayable, because she doesn't have shit for damage early game. And no CC, really. But she's extremely hard. She's a mage. She puts her combo on you, you can't do anything about it. Orin. Ha ha ha! Imagine playing a tank in Season 11. <laughs> ah, jokes on you. Yeah, Orin's free. Like, actually, just don't get hit by his little horn. Like, that's all you gotta do. Just don't get hit by his, his bullshit and auto him. Or just farm. Or not. Like, he, yeah, he's just free. It's everything about it. Oh, okay, so Malphite. A lot of people struggle with Malphite, and I, I think that's pretty accurate. I definitely think Malphite is extremely hard. Like, Orn can't kill you, right? Orn, he bonks the floor. As long as you don't stand still, it's fine. But Malphite just throws a Q at you three times, and you die. So, Malphite is extremely hard. A lot of people probably agree with this, and I agree with it. But like, level six, you just look at him the wrong way, he one-shots you. Before that, he pokes. He pokes better than you poke, and you're... That's what Timo is designed to do, but he does it better. Unlucky. And he's, and he's a tank. And he does damage. Maokai, Keck, Malzahar. 50-50. Um, Timo favored. Timo favored. No, 50-50. You can't do anything. You can't do anything. He can't do anything. It's just a stalemate. Lux. Do people even play Lux? Isn't that a support? 
we'll throw it in 50 50 as well luck sucks bad champion at the moment if she hits her stuff you're dead if she doesn't it's fine not really hard though she can't really pressure that much she has peanuts for damage maokai keck moored Ooh, okay so this is gonna be the first time i think for the most part this stuff has been standard people are gonna hate me for this because Mord is un just kidding Mord is actually free as fuck maybe not free but team of here for sure people think Mord is a hard lane i don't understand like dude just don't get hit by every ability like that's a lot of things the thing is like if i say hey don't get hit by a jace q that's not easy to do don't get hit by an Annie Stone or a Nivea Q. That's not easy. Not getting hit by Mord's abilities. He's a melee champion. Like, he... That thing has a very short range. It's really easy not to get hit by something like Mord. But it's not free because he does pack a punch. Level 6, it kind of hurts. But it, he's a lot easier than people think. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. We're working our way through it. We're getting there. Pantheon's not really played top of it anymore. Poppy. Okay, Poppy is, uh, is free. Free low. Uh, I mean, she's a tank. A lot of tanks just suck right now. She's a tank. You auto her. You don't get hit into the wall. It's, if you don't get into the wall, it's very free. It's like she actually can't do anything. And she scales like crap. Ooh, Quinn. Okay, little Quinny gal. I would definitely say free. <laughs> Quinn is a worse version of Teemo. She's not really meta. Her damage isn't as good. She's AD, which is very counterable. Steel caps, hello. And yeah, I mean, she just kind of can't do anything. You blind her. It's really, really easy. Kiana, Kiki. Definitely, I would say 50-50. She's not extremely hard. She actually, the her, if you burst Kiana mid or even top lane, she's not really extremely hard. She doesn't pack a punch to level 6. And I think her invisibility, it's not really that good for lane. I would say just 50-50. Renekton. Okay, Renekton is pretty free these days. He sucks. Renekton sucks in every single way. And you can blind his stun. Rengar Top. Ooh, yes, our first bruiser. That's unplayable. Rengar Top actually is becoming more common. First bruiser or melee champ, that's unplayable. Rengar, if you go anywhere near him, level one, you die instantly. He just is that strong, let alone if he goes ignite or anything. Level one, he kills you. I mean, he kills you to level six. So if you manage to farm and not die to level six, great. But it's you actually can't go near minions. It's you can't go near it's stupid. Unplayable. I'm already tilted. Ooh, ooh, Riven, extremely hard. Not unplayable, but if you think that Riven's unplayable, that's fair. I respect that. Extremely hard. She does everything in the 1v1 scenario that bruisers do, but better. She has a dash. She has a shield. She has CC. She has one-shot potential. She has sustained damage. She can build tanky. She can build not tanky. In the 1v1, she does everything better than the rest of the bruisers. But of course, in team fights, maybe not. But extremely hard is accurate. Shout out DJ Khaled. Ooh, Rise. Okay. Rise is... Hey, look. Oh, it's a mage. Oh, we're seeing the trend. Mages counter Teemo. They have more range. They have equal or the same damage early game. And Teemo can't jump on them. The, the counter to mages is by jumping on them. One-shotting them when they don't have cooldowns. But Teemo can't do that. So we're seeing a trend here. Rumble. Okay. Rumble used to be broken. But I think Rumble is just extremely hard. It's not easy by any means. But Rumble's in a bad spot. Again, when a champion's bad, they can't be unplayable, right? A lot of, like, a bad champion usually doesn't have what it takes, usually. But Rumble's not really good. And in laning phase, like, just don't walk in melee range, kind of. It's okay to be down a little bit of CS. Just don't get pooped on. Ah, set. Everybody's favorite anime protagonist, a.k.a. the Feather Daddy. I would say he's not free, but it is very Teemo favored. Set's the kind of guy that like, the thing about Set why he's not free is because even though, like, if you don't get hit by his... The thing is, if you don't get hit by his Knuckle Duster, you still can't kill him, and he still could kill you. He can kill you without being in melee range with his W. And with his R, that is like a gap closer, you know? And it, you don't have to hit anything. You know, I think the difference is, like... Like, with Orn, it's very easy to dodge his, you know, his... Hit the floor... His little pillar, but with set, you can't dodge his R. You know, you can't run, you can't dodge his shield really or his R. So it's just, it's not free, but it is team of favorites still. He still is a melee champion that's easily guided. Ooh, okay. Shen, Seraphine Keck, another support. Shen. Shen is the definition of free. Like, actually, freer than free if free was free. Like, his taunt hitbox is like skinnier than a shroom. 
and he doesn't really pack that much damage. And when he ults, you get to take tower plates. Definitely free in every in every aspect. Keep in mind, I think a disclaimer is these champions can still kill you. Like you can still die to a Shen 1v1. You can still die to an Ecton. But the thing is with the with the free and Teemo favored champions, like you have to be playing like complete shit. Like to not like to not die to Shen, like literally, it's just his taunt. To not die to something like Aatrox, it's his Q every three seconds and his latch every five seconds, right? Like there's that's why it's different. You can still die to all these champions, but on the average game, you shouldn't be dying to them. Unless you're playing like poop. Singed, oh yes. The I want to put him number one in free. Because Singe has been free since season one. This you this is your poison pal. But this champion has been free for like the past 10 years consistently. And I love that. I go to sleep and I have wet dreams thinking about laning Singe. And unfortunately, nobody plays him because he's that bad. But I love versing Singe. I love it. Scion. Ooh, okay. So Scion is actually one of those tanks that actually is extremely hard. Now, this is rare. Scion is a good tank, okay? Scion is a tank, but the thing is, he's a tank's tank. He's a tank that reverse scales like his he's an early game tank which is rare most tanks scale but he is an early game tank where he can poop on you level two level three and he also scales with a whole bunch whole bunch of health and his shout he shouts at you he slows you just whips your booty with that axe it's tough he's a tank's tank uh swain bot laner keck sin oh silas okay silas mid team of favored He's pretty squishy early game. He does crap damage early game and all of his stuff he has to hit. Oh, okay. Who would have thought it's that time of the tier list? Ah, it's a mage. Unplayable. Wow. Cool. And I play mid lane willingly. Just roam forehead. I can't say forehead that much. I'm sorry, YouTube. Uh, Cinder is unplayable. Level one, you have to, you're literally dancing. You have to be dancing level one because she just presses Q wherever you are and you die. Level two, she stuns you then presses Q. It's miserable. Here is going to be... I'm already tilted with looking at this catfish tongue and hooligan, okay? Tom Kench, unplayable. I, I want to put Tom Kench up here with how disgusting he is. Tom Kench is nightmare fuel. Like, he doesn't even have to... You can die to a Tom Kench without hitting anything. Like, he is so ridiculously tanky early game. He does so much damage. He has a dash every 10 seconds. He has a shield. He has a slow... He's a slow sustained dash shield. He's a tank. He 2v1... Er, Everything's miserable. Thankfully, he does fall off later in the game, but that doesn't count when you're laning. Uh, let's see. Talon is a... Uh, he still was played mid. Talon, again, same thing as Kiana. 50-50. They don't have enough damage to just run at you and kill you, but they can. Ooh, Teemo. If you're versus a Teemo counter matchup... Look at that. Perfect. I'm a pro at this. Trundle. Trundle Daddy. He has played top here and there. Free low. He's a crappy tank. Trindomir. Trindomir has been making a lot of meta. So everybody thinks Trindomir is free. They put it in free. Trindomir is free. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I would say Trindomir is 50-50. It's not free anymore. Level 1, he spanks that ass. And with the Season 11 items, he scales so, like, one item and he solo dolos you, right? Until level 5, he's so strong. Level 6, he's strong. He's so much stronger than he used to be. And also, why Trinomir is so much stronger now, it's because of the runes. Second Wind, Revitalize, and Dorn Shield. You can't kill him anymore, okay? You can't kill him, and he can kill you. 50-50, not free anymore. You can blind him, sure, but he can heal for 30 years. TF, free low. Oh, imagine playing a Season 1 champion. We're seeing a trend. Singe TF, he does no damage, and his card is actually blindable. Urgot, Turgot, extremely hard, believe it or not. I'm not sure how y'all feel about Urgot. He's not played often, but when I do verse him, he is extremely hard. I feel like he does a lot of damage, and he's tanky. If he ever hits his body slam, you're dead. But even if he doesn't, you're still dead sometimes. Could be 50-50. I would respect that. But to me, he's extremely hard. Okay, okay. What do we got left here? Vigar, again, no damage. Crappy champion. We're seeing the trend. Go support. Belkaz. Belkaz is not even a champion. I'm not even put. I'm not even going to... I'm not going to disrespect the tier list by thinking Belkaz is a mid laner. Get your ass bot lane. Vex, season 11. Okay, season 11 champion. Not unplayable, though. Just extremely hard. Season 11 champion. So she's... No, she's unplayable. Yeah, she's unplayable. You can't do anything. 
and she has a shield. She's a mage. She got released in season 11. She has a shield. She has a fear. She has long range poke. Yeah, she's not playable. The only thing about her is that she reverse scales, right? Like, no, she scales pretty well, but she's not disgusting level one. Some of these champions, like Annie's super front loaded to early game. Vex scales. Her damage isn't that crazy, but still miserable. Victor, crappy champion. Very rare that a mage is not unplayable. This is, you know, Ari and Victor, the only mages that are not unplayable. They just, I don't know. They, like, he doesn't do that much damage. It's not just like, hey, boom, you can't farm. You can still farm versus him and stuff. Vlad, okay, everybody thinks this matchup's hard, but Vlad's actually not that bad. Vlad does really crap damage early game. The only thing you have to do, just don't get hit by his blood orb. That bar is free. You don't get hit by it. He doesn't do that much damage. No CC. His pool is like a wonky escape. Coming to the end here, Volibear. <laughs> Not even played anymore. Loser. Wukong. Oh, no. Extremely hard. Not unplayable, but very freaking close. Very close to unplayable, but not quite there. He wins level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right? You start winning late game, but his clone's so hard to play around. If you ever blind his clone, he poops on you. Level 6, he poops on you. Ridiculous amount of damage. Warwick top, actually somewhat meta. Um, Teemo favor, not quite free, because the barrier bait that Warwick does is extremely potent, and it even gets me. But he's pretty easy. He can't he can't get close to you. Melee champions are, are nice. Zerath. Okay. Zerath's extremely hard, but he's not he's not really good. So 50-50. He has to hit everything. He's not in a good spot, and he's not oppressive. I think the unplayable matchups are very oppressive. You can't even farm with these matchups, right? Zareth isn't oppressive. Yasuo, oh, misery. Not unplayable, but he probably should be. Windwall counters you. He's strong early game. If there's ever minions nearby, he gets 15 dashes. Well, you sit there like, oh, cool. Windwall 2, Windwall oh, pie. Yone, okay, Yone is Yasuo, but just not as cool. For laning phase. No win wall. So he's just good. Same thing. Same champion. Uh, I would say Yasuo is cuter. A little more edgy. Well, no. He's a little more broken. I can relate. Pipo Sag. Anyway. Anyone else suppressed? Just kidding. Not something to joke about. Anyway, Yorick. Okay. Extremely hard. Not unplayable because he's not that good. Honestly, just dodge his circle and he can't really kill you. But dodging a circle is not easy. You have to dodge the circle and his ghoul toss. Both are hard. Now, if you ever get you in that circle, you're screwed. But he's playable. He's not that good. Zed. Ah, okay. Zed's unplayable. Is that our first assassin that's unplayable? Wow. Zed, you actually can't do anything. Every time he has W up, you have to start dancing around. If, he ever, if the W ever goes near you, you just kind of die in one hit. He can kill you without his ult. First assassin, that's unplayable. Thanks for making the list, Zed. But we all know that. Zed's been meta for all season. Ziggs, 50-50. Um, he doesn't really have... Not, again, non-oppressive. You can see the... the You can see it forming, right? Oppressive champions where you can't even farm. Ziggs, he can kill you. His poke's kind of stinky. But it's not really the end of the world. Zoe, very oppressive champion. Very extremely hard. Not unplayable. Because if you don't hit that bubble, you have a chance. But... It is unplayable if she gets, like, a Prowler's Claw on her W, or if she gets a nice Summoner spell. But if she doesn't, it's kind of okay. Alright, let's do a double take to see if there's any champions that are played more than I give it credit for. Um, top and mid, top and mid. I think that's about it. Diana's a jungler, right? Nobody plays Diana mid. Same with Echo. Echo could be played mid still. I would say it's Teemo favor because you could blind his jump, and he doesn't just poop on you. I mean, he's actually pretty weak. Yeah, he's pretty weak early game. Definitely Teemo favorite. I, I enjoy that lane, but he's more of a jungler. Graves lane got turbo nerfs. It's not really played anymore. Driver and top's extremely uncommon. Karma's support. Lilia top actually is making headway because of the, the worlds, and she's actually free. She's the only mage that's free because she's a melee mage. <laughs> Imagine being a melee range of mage. <laughs> nice one. She's a melee mage, Keck. Yeah, she's free because you can't do anything in laning phase. She's just like bulls and you, yeah. If this becomes meta, I can't wait. <coughs> Lucian lane's extinct. Anybody see my Twitch rivals Lucian gameplay versus Sneaky when I solo killed him? Oh, wait, sorry. Forgot that happened. 
Yeah, we won the two tribals, by the way. Thanks for asking. I think it's about it. It's all she wrote. Am I missing anything at all? No. Pantheon. Okay, we'll put Pantheon on there. Pantheon's actually unplayable, too. If they lock in Pantheon top, he's extremely disgusting early game top lane. If he takes Ignite, you can't even look at him. Again, oppressive. He looks at you, he Ws you. This is why Pan this is why an unplayable lane, right? Just like Jace too. He jumps on you, he throws his spear, he autos you, and then he takes his shield out. And you say, okay, cool. Now it's my turn. He's got a shield that reduces 99% damage. I think that's about all she wrote. That's, yeah, I think that's going to conclude it, right? Uh, but we'll do Volley. I guess Volley isn't that terrible. Uh, Volley's free, though. He's a tank. Well, he's a bruiser. He's a bruiser that doesn't really use the OP bruiser items. You can't really build Gore Drinker on him. Striper got, got gutted. He goes like Divine Sunderer, and it's not that it's not that broken on him. But he is pretty free. I mean, and you, you know what the thing with Volley is? You could blind. When he runs at you on all fours, you just blind him. Very easy. All right, that wraps up the tier list. Let's get a good look at it here. Okay, that is the full tier list in all its glory right there. We'll take off the top part. Okay, right there. Thumbnail, please. That is the full tier list. Unplayable is pretty much all mages and Zed making a special appearance as an assassin. Tom Kench is a tank. Pantheon as whatever you want to call him and the rest mages. Rengar. Rengar's up there too. Very unplayable. It can't do anything. Just either dodge or pray. You gotta do one of them. Extremely hard. Some bruisers, some mages, some assassins, but all these lanes just are tough, but they're winnable. It is winnable. Wait for a gank. Try your best. Maybe defensive items. 50-50. A lot of bruisers. A couple mages, a couple weak champions, a couple assassins. Trindomir, believe it or not. Teemo favorite. All these matchups, if you die, it is possible, but on average, you should, it shouldn't be too hard. And free is just... If they lock in any of these champions, you just, like, start laughing your way to the bank. And I love it. But if you look at all this, unfortunately for Teemo mains, all these free matchups, they're not really played that much. Thank God, right? Sweet. Wonderful. All right, anyway. That is my Teemo counter tier list. I hope that helps you. I hope you enjoyed it. This kind of content's new to me. So drop a like and a subscribe if you liked it and drop a comment if you liked it or if you hated it. Let me know your feedback, okay? I'm sensitive and shy, but I still appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you all later. Okay, that is good for now. Okay, I got to get ready. I always get nervous. When I do YouTube content on Twitch, I get super nervous, okay? And I don't know why. Like, if I do YouTube comment off stream, it's cool as a cucumber. But on stream, it's like, ah, you know. Hello, you two. How the heck was that intro so shit? Okay, I'm nervous. I'm nervous.